Oh, that was a tap. There we go, that's a fish. Oh. They're, they're, they're slamming it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode. We are in front of downtown Seattle, hanging out on a little boat. She hasn't been on the water in a couple of years, so I got her all cleaned up and ready to go. She's running great. And uh, the goal today is just to get get some fish, get some crabs, head up to an island, cook them up together, and we're just ha gonna have a good time, guys. Today, we're just gonna relax, have a little bit of fun. So let's go ahead, get this baby fired up. Let's get going. There we go. We're in a spot where we're gonna try and drop a, a crab pot. Uh, we're in about 53 feet deep. So what I've got with me for bait is just some old fish carcasses that I've had in the freezer. They're uh, burbot. <laughs> so I, I don't know, this is a freshwater species. I don't know if crabs like eating freshwater fish. My guess is sure, why not? Jeez, this is still frozen solid. Dang. So the way that these crab pots here work is uh, I've got a little hatch right here. I put the bait in the middle and then the crabs can come in from all four sides. Uh, and then there's these little trap doors and the crabs can get in, but they can't get back out once they're in there. There we go. Got our bait in the center there. There we go. So I'm just gonna mark where that pot is on a GPS location. So we're gonna do some bottom fishing now. Uh, I'd like to try and catch like a cabazon, maybe some perch down there. So to this jig head, we're gonna attach a black Kitek. Slide them all the way on. There we go, almost perfect. Um, we're gonna put a little shrimp fly on there too. Sometimes you can just get a fish to grab the shrimp fly. Uh, instead, it just sits a little higher up in the water. Just doubles your chance of catching something. So this is what the rig looks like. We've got our shrimp fly here on the top, and then we got our little Kitek on the bottom. The big old cabs, they're sitting down there by these rocks, so we got to fish right by them, but hopefully not lose our gear. Got slammed. Come on, come back. They'll often come right back. We'll drop it right back down there. Come on. Oh. Oh! Oh, that's a fish, baby. That's a fish. Oh, we gotta get it off the rocks. Oof. Gotta tighten that drag just a little bit. Jeez. Oh, come on. Come on, baby, what are you? Please be a cab. It doesn't feel like a cab. Oh, damn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, okay, well, we got a rockfish, guys. Lip this guy. So we're just gonna go ahead and unhook him and, and release this dude. It's a big fish, though, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful rockfish. I'm not sure exactly what species that is. Is it a ver vermilion or a... I'm not sure, you guys can drop it in the comments what that is, but let's get him in the water right away. Again, I wanna make sure that he can swim down nice and healthy. Beautiful fish, though. Come on, baby. And there he goes. Nice, first catch of the day. Oh, that feels good. Skunks off, finally, boys. <laughs> oh, 
that was a good fight too, man. He just freaking smoked us in the beginning. We're at about 71 feet deep. What the? What? Unbelievable. We just got train wrecked. Oh. Oh, it's got to get it around the engines. Jeez, oh, my pants. Oh, jeez, oh, another giant rockfish. Ah. <laughs> Come here. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Just absolutely choked down that uh, <laughs> swim bait there. Man, one heck of a fish. So let's go ahead and let this guy go. And he's off. With rockfish, just make sure that you get him in the water ASAP again so that they can swim down. Sometimes rockfish, they have a problem getting back down to the bottom. Oh, oh, something nibbled us. Oh, 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 there it was again. There it was again. Come on. Oh. Ah, it feels like another rockfish. <laughs> All right, I'm not even going to pull him in the boat. We're just going to let him go right away. There he goes. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Get down, buddy, get down. If he can't get down, we'll have to help him out. Oh, there he is. There he's off. He's off. Okay. Man, none of them have gone for that shrimp fly, though. All of them on the, uh, the swim bait. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. This guy has a thick old belly and check it out, he's got some uh, feelers sticking out of his mouth. I think that's like a spot, a spot prawn, spotted prawn that he's got sticking out of his belly. <laughs> but we're gonna let him go. Come on, little guy. He pooped on me a little bit. A lot of you guys, by the way, are brand new to the channel. I know that like a ton of people joined. The channel's grown like crazy and I'm like just super thankful for that. So I guess I just introduce myself again. My name's Life. I'm half Danish, half German, lived in Germany for 18 years and uh, moved to the US here to the Seattle area in 2008. So for those of you that follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna do a live stream now. Uh, let's just do this. Uh oh, we're live. Gotta watch out by the way, my like head is balding and I burn on top of my head. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was a tap. There you go, that's a fish. Oh. 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 Oh, it's a giant. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 That's a giant black rockfish. Oh. <laughs> Now that, my friends, is a rockfish. Here we go, let's go ahead and give this guy a nice, nice revive. Oh! So we've been fishing this spot for a while now and all we've caught is rockfish. So we're gonna move on somewhere else where we can catch something that we can keep. I, I don't wanna keep hurting rockfish just to try and catch a cab is on. It just didn't happen today. All right, let's go ahead and see if we got some crabs. Our pot's right here. Here we go. Ah, got him. All right, now we'll pull him in. I don't have a pot puller, so we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. 
doesn't feel super heavy. Man, I hope we got some crabs. Ooh, look at that, we got a, we got a rock crab. Oh nice, that's a, that's a good size rock crab, guys. He's in a very defensive posture right there. Come on, buddy. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Look at that, baby. This little guy right here, see how it's pointy? Whoa, <laughs> uh, that means it's a male. If it were wider and round, then it's a female. Now, on rock crabs, we'd be allowed to keep females, but I, I, I gen generally don't. But this is a nice, healthy-looking big male. He's way above legal size, so I'm not even going to measure him. Uh, big old claws on there, so we already got a snack for later. There we go. Nice. Got us some crabs. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. We're in 110 feet of water. This is, this is looking good. This is looking really good, guys. This is promising. All right, so we're switching up our setup a little bit. We're gonna go over to using bait now because we're gonna try and catch some flounder. Uh, for bait, I'm just using some squid. Down on the bottom, we've got a big old weight. I believe that's probably, a, yeah, it's a four ounce weight. And then two barbless, kind of like an octopus circle uh, hook. Right here, it's at about 85 feet. That's about my favorite depth. Find a nice sandy bottom. And they're right here. They won't be able to resist that. And all you got to do with this is just drop it right down. They're on the bottom, on the bottom. Oh, tap, 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 tap. Oh, we lost him, we lost him. We have him on for a second. We're using pretty big hooks because I only want to catch big flounder. I don't want to... There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. I don't want to catch any little ones. Oh, is that a flounder? What the heck is this? Oh, I don't know if this is a flounder, guys. Oh, what is this? Oh! We, we, this could be a shark, guys. We, we might have a shark on here. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Come on! Oh, I just want to see what this is. It's giant. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh, pump it. We're getting there. Oh! No! Oh. Oh. oh, there we go. It's a shark. <laughs> we got a shark. <laughs> Oh! All right, oh, jeez. Okay, we're just gonna gently set him down here. I don't wanna hurt this guy. All right, guys, these sharks here also have venomous spines on their back, so we gotta be really careful not to get uh, pricked by these guys. Look at that. Got us a shark. So there's one spine right there, and look at that big guy right there by my finger. Big old venomous shark spine. He's got a squid there. Maybe he wants to eat the squid. Come on. No, I don't want to put my finger in his mouth. <laughs> I just want to make sure that this uh, fish swims off really good. And he's gone. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Oh, no. Damn, it's a, it's a little tiny rockfish. Dude. All right, get back in there. We gotta save this rockfish, guys. So you can see he's just floating. He's trying to get down, but uh, but he can't make it because the swim bladder is so blown up. Uh, this here is the descending device that we're gonna use. This is a DIY one. You can buy descending devices that are a lot better than this. Very gently uh, slide it through his gill plate and out of the mouth. We wanna make sure to not nick any of the gills. So now he's just hanging on here. All right, little guy. So now he's being sent down with that weight there 
and what's happening is the swim bladder is being compressed back down because of the water pressure to a normal size to where he can function again. And once I feel him hit the bottom, I'm just gonna pull up and that'll pull that rod back out of his gill plate. And then he's good to go. There we go, we're on the bottom. Boom, pulled it out. And there we go, the fish got off. Without our help, he would have died. He would have gotten eaten by a seagull, never would have made it back down to the bottom. Moved to a slightly different spot, dropped her down again. Oh, there we go. Ah. Ah. Ah, this feels like a shark, guys. Feels like another shark. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a tiny little shark. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Uh, look at that little tiny guy. Don't bite me. Let's go ahead and make sure he swims off. And there he goes. Oh, now we might have a flounder here, guys. Oh yeah, we got something. <laughs> Oh, this feels so much better. This is what we want right here. Come on up, baby, I'm hungry. Ah, he's kind of small. Ah, he's not huge, but you know, ah, we'll keep him. We'll keep him. Ah, he's a baby, he's a baby. He's a baby, we're not keeping him. <laughs> Come on, oh, 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 oh. They're, they're, they're slamming it. <laughs> there we go. Ah, is that a flounder or another shark? I really hope it's a flounder this time. That's a good flounder, not giant, but you know, we hooked him right through the eye too. So we're, look at that poor thing. We're gonna go ahead and keep this guy here. On ice, baby. <laughs> All right, we're on the bottom. Oh, we've already had a bite. They're tapping it. There they go. There they go. Oh. Ah. Ah. That might not be a flounder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh yeah, that's a shark, definitely. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and he's off. <laughs> Beautiful. that was a flounder dang there we go oh that's a flounder that's that's a good size flounder this is what we want right here for food that's what we want right here come on oh no he's good he's food size so these guys here, they actually start like a fish that swims like this and they have an eye on each side. But then as they age, the fish actually lays flat on one side and the eye grows over to the other side. So then they have both eyes over on one side. It's so cool. Um, they're one of my favorite fish to eat. They're delicious. 
just like little halibut. Notice in the slick here, there's some trash. Tennis ball. There's some blue plastic there too. Rubber gloves. Ah. <laughs> Damn it. That's the kind of stuff that happens like when we don't think about where we threw our trash. It's a shame, but we got it. I think this is where we're gonna cook the fish. We're just gonna hang out here. So I'm just gonna clean up these flounder really fast here. We're just gonna, actually we're gonna just fillet them. Feed that right to the crabs there. I completely forgot to bring a lighter or matches or any way to make fire. We're gonna use a marine flare to start up this fire. I've never used one of these things before, so it's probably good practice anyways. Do not hold above this line. Okay, so red is danger zone. Uh, all I need to do is light one fire. How long is this gonna burn? Burn time up to three minutes. Point away from face and body, aim downwind. Hold burning flare over side of boat and aim downwind. Do not wave overhead. Interesting. I thought in the movies you always see this, but I guess that's not the way to do it. So, okay, so we what, remove this cap. There we go. Okay, so this is a strike thing here. I'm assuming this will work. There we go. <laughs> oh, dude. Well, we got a fire going. Are these things waterproof? Yeah, they are. That's crazy. Look at that. I don't know. We're going to set this like here. That thing is super bright. I hope no one comes here and thinks that we're stranded at the beach and need help. There we go. It's out. So I guess, yeah, don't hold the red part because the red part's gone. That would have burned your hand. Look at those little flounder fillets. Mm. So to clean the crab, I just like to hold them by all their back legs, make sure they don't pinch you with the front ones. And then you just need kind of a, a sharp object to blow this part here on, and then you'll separate the shell off. So all of this stuff here, you want to pull all of that out. These are just like gills. And then this yellow stuff there, uh, it's called the crab butter. Some people eat it. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bread that flounder. For that, I've just got a little paper paper thing here, and we're gonna throw in some some Louisiana uh, fish fry. This is, guys, it's the best. And I left a little bit of skin on a couple of the fillets just to try it out. Some of you guys have been saying that on flounder, the skin's pretty good. Never tried it before. I think that crab is done. Can't afford to have this go out though. I don't want to have to use another flare. We need those for emergencies. Look at this, we got this whole little beach on this island to ourselves. Got the boat right there. There's beautiful trees growing out over, over this beach here. Just super thankful to be out here, guys. slice of lemon. Oh man, these fillets are golden brown guys, golden brown.
look at that crab. Just gonna try, try one little piece. Mm. We're gonna throw that pan back on there. Throw in some cheese. Throw that tortilla on top of the cheese. And we got our Danish sea salt here. Gently, gently salt our, uh, our fish. Some wild style creamy chipotle kicker sauce. The only thing we're gonna do then is just throw on a little bit of that lemon. Throw it on the crab too. By the way, if you guys enjoy videos like this, I upload fishing videos every single week. So feel free to subscribe. Uh, that way you guys don't miss the weekly episodes. Oh my goodness. Okay, here, here goes nothing, guys. Here goes nothing. Mm. Just that perfect, perfect, mild, flaky, yet flavorful. Crab claw. <laughs> Look at that. All meat. Mm. Mm. That's one thing about these red rock crabs. They're sweet. They're they're just delicious. Some people say that they're better than Dungeness. All right, guys. We'll see you next week for the next fishing adventure. Till then, you all know it. Fish on, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Right, Start go before the tide comes in. <laughs>